Hello, hello everyone. It's me, Jessica, and welcome back to my channel. Um, I do apologize that I will not have face cam for speed builds for right now, but um, I have found a way to edit them to where I can actually like watch along as I do my voiceover, and that obviously makes a lot more sense. Um, but anyways, we are building a um, what I call a treetop wonderland, um, and it, it kind of gets, as I normally do, um, a little all over the place with a lot of stuff to do because I just like to build that way. I like to have a ton of stuff for my Sims to do on community lots. And I made this into a park, so it is a community lot. I, uh, of course, tried to kind of section it off into hangout spots. So there is um, this pod and two other pods in the trees. And then there is a, um, what you would call like a big, I don't know, like basement bar kind of hangout. I don't know. It, it It's kind of like a big complex because there's different areas downstairs as well. Um, because of course I am a little too extra when it comes to my community lots. But like I've said, I just like to have stuff to do. Um, I don't want to like bounce to 20 different community lots to do stuff, you know? You know what I mean? Um, but anyways, I wanted to keep the vibe in kind of all of them, um, a little boho, kind of, you know, shabby chic, just cozy looking, um, a little colorful here and there, and that's why I went for the, um, yellow countertop with the yellow, like, fridge to match, um, but I figured that a yellow stove would have been a little overkill, so I did the brown on that, but that is all jungle adventure stuff, which is one of my favorite packs for like build and buy objects. The flooring that comes in my pack, or in my pack, <laughs> in my pack, in that pack is um, like one of the best floorings in, in my opinion. Um, but I did include like a little place to eat, and then I did even put like a little TV on the wall. Um, I think I put a, one of the like gaming consoles on there as well so there is just a little hangout spot in this pod and you could kind of call it like a a teen or a young adult kind of area where maybe the parents would go um but yeah how are you guys doing in the real world um i hope good you know i'm i'm doing good we got the um the squirt our little peanut she is about to be a year old and goodness she on, on the 20th so just in a matter of days it's just so crazy how time flies like you know time flies especially because we're turning 30 this year so like at that age you're fully aware how graduating high school it's just like all of a sudden it's your 10 year anniversary and you're like oh I'm I'm old I'm excited about pots and pans and I go to bed early. <laughs> um, I did not go to bed early until I have a, you know, had a child around. Um, I was always a night owl, but these days she gets me up at 6 a.m. And I'm tired. I'm tired by 8.30. I'm yawning. It's, it's, uh, it's old lady central around here, to be quite frank. Um, but you can kind of see the the vibe coming along quite nicely in here. I just put some like random stuff up on the wall because I, I wasn't like wanting really big bright things on the wall. So I just kind of put some, I don't know, artifactual things on the walls. It, it made sense. Um, you know, why not? But this one, this one is the fun place for the kids. They have to be, of course, like children. Um, or I suppose teens or, you know, even if the parents want to come in because I, I have a lot of sim parents in my worlds that love to come in and uh, play like dolls with, with the kids. Um, but anyways, there are a couple of Blarfies in here. There's like the toy box and the, I kind of scattered some books around on a table. Um, I think I actually put a bookshelf in and not just decorative books, but you know, who knows. Um, but there are a bunch of things to do in here. And um, I do play and build on console. Um, I try to mention that because I think it is a little unusual to see console on like YouTube. Um, 
I seek it out personally, but it's also different. I know um, I watch a ton of building tutorials and stuff like that just um, on YouTube. I love to watch people in the Sims community on YouTube so I can get ideas and learn things and stuff like that. Um, but they have a little more uh, freedom with their camera building on PC. And I definitely get a little jelly about that um, because I can't like get into that line of sight um, where everything is actually it like straight. Everything is always at this angle um, building on console. But you can kind of see at this point the, um, the vibe coming along in the kids area. Um, I just wanted it to look like this is, first off, I built this on the island in Windenburg. It's on the 20 by 20 lot. Um, and I wanted it to kind of just seem like since that island is kind of, you know, reclused in by itself anyways, um, I wanted it to seem like it's maybe the kids in the neighborhood's little hangout spot. Um, but also, if you are familiar with my channel, you know, not that... I've been doing this for very long. I've literally, I created this channel about six months ago as like a New Year's promise to myself to just, um, to buck up and put a smile on my face because I honestly never wanted to be a stay-at-home mom. I But I've never been more thankful that I had a routine um, whenever the kind of pandemic struck and everything has just gone haywire in the world. Um, I'm so thankful that I was at home and that we do have like a routine set in place and um, my husband is able to work and I'm able to stay home and yeah, I, I've honestly, it's, uh, it's bittersweet how it turned around and I was like, oh, you know what? Thank you life for just preparing me for what 2020 was going to be. I didn't know. None of us were ready. Um, but anywho, um, I, I, I love getting sidetracked, you know, cause of course you're just blabbering while watching builds. Um, but on my legacy let's play oh i'm sorry i guess oh i think my batteries died honestly so you know i'm just gonna have to leave that there but on my legacy let's play on the mills family um we have basically we have taken up shop on the uh windenburg island and that is kind of the idea i had behind building it on the windenburg island as well um, I just thought it would be kind of fun for our legacy Sims to be able to go there. And I put like a club board um, in front of the little child's like treehouse, children's treehouse. Because um, I, I felt like it just almost seems like a little club hangout at that point when you put that club board out there. And I've seen a lot of people do that. So I just thought that was a cute idea. Um, but this one is the artsy come and smoke your hookah, you know, whatever, read a book, put your earbuds in and drown out the world um, over in this third pod. And that was kind of my idea as I progressed with this one. It's mainly just a bunch of art easels and books, and uh, that's, that's pretty much it. Um, I probably should have thrown a guitar in there or something, but um, I actually did not do that. And past me, that recorded the tour realized that I didn't do that. So, you know, you'll get to hear that twice. <laughs> um, but I hope you guys are liking this because I am so happy with the way that this treehouse um, complex kind of came out. I wanted it to just have so much to do and you can kind of see that coming together now. Um, I used like different textures on all the buildings. Um, of course, now today I have the eco style or eco style, I, you know, words, words are just, they're fun. Um, the eco lifestyle pack. Um, I finally, you know, well, finally, it's been out for like oh, two weeks, if that, um, got my hands on it anyways. And I really like the, uh, the wood siding paneling that came with that pack as I'm sure most of us do it is beautiful beautiful I love the texturing on that um so I wish that I would have held out on building this a bit longer but um I kept telling my husband I didn't want to buy the pack um immediately you know we could just wait and wait or whatever I'm just that person like I would just prefer to like make excuses to not spend money so he just kind of like 
insisted. <laughs> and, uh, you know, I'm not going to argue him for forever. So I apologize if it seems a little like splotchy, the, the building cuts. Um, I really did a lot of building off camera when it came to this. I was like, I just kind of felt overwhelmed. Honestly, it took me about a week, week and a half to build this whenever the ladders came out. Um, is whenever I kind of started it because I wanted to build a treehouse and my husband wanted a bowling alley in the treehouse. And I was like, well, that's, you know, not going to happen. Um, but that's, that's a good idea. Like, so that's in the basement. Actually, we have a bowling alley in the basement. Um, so yeah, <laughs> that's, that's, I guess the fun fact about how this build even came about. Um, cause I, I've been trying to do a lot of renovations. I, I like the idea of renovating houses recently. Um, it's just kind of my, my kick right now. But I really enjoy building community lots. Um, I just feel like it allows you to kind of get outside of your creativity realm. Because when you're building a house, um, not to say that you can't get creative with building a house. Because honestly, you have probably everything you need for this to just be a residential lot. Um, but it's technically a park in, you know, my world. Um, but I wanted that body of water to kind of be almost like it looks natural. Um, you know, I'm sure it, it obviously could have been, uh, done better. I'm only so patient when it comes to my personal building. And the debug menu for console, I have a lot of trouble accessing it. Um, it doesn't like pull up in the same fashion that it does for the, the PC players. Um, I'm not sure why that is, honestly. I've tried to do some, like, digging online, like, Googling and trying to research um, how to use the debug menu on console, and uh, I just don't really know. I just kind of search keywords until I find things, so I don't really use the debug menu uh, very often because I, I just ha have a lot of trouble with it. It is not my friend. Not my friend. Um... I probably should have put a toddler potty on this lot, like on the, the main floor here. Um, I, I did not though. So sorry about it. <laughs> I, uh, I thought about that and, uh, just, it was after the fact, you know, you always think about things after the fact and you're like, you know, man, if I, if I would have thought about it, <laughs> I would have done it. Oh, shoulda, coulda, wouldas. Um, what else? Oh, moving on. <coughs> Pardon me. Moving on to the basement here. I apologize. I kind of laid out some of the stuff and the floor plan and stuff like that um, without you guys. Um, like I said, I did a bunch of stuff off camera. But this is essentially where it really just starts coming to life. I added lights and... Uh, essentially just the, the whole bit of what I wanted the downstairs to be. And honestly, I kind of only have uh, one style of building, and that is um, just kind of a hodgepodge of colors. I, I'm not really sure that I'm the best at interior designing, but um, I, I feel like I'm good at making it cozy. So I don't know, take that as you will. <laughs> Um, cause sometimes I'm like, I just don't know if these color choices are honestly the best, but I, uh, I, I don't know, um, what more I can do sometimes. Um, so anyways, <laughs> just rambling about nonsense as, uh, per usual. Um, but I, I just wanted this to have like a pub per usual, like a kind of German pub vibe, uh, maybe a little hip which is almost always what I do whenever I'm building a bar. Um, cause I want it to have some of those like rustic kind of dark colors and stuff like that. Um, but I was very generous and I put two full bathrooms. Um, well I say full, they don't have a bathtub, but they have a shower. Um, and there's two of them. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm real nice as a Sim God. I make sure that when you're at a community lot, if you come here to get married for some reason, um, there's not a marriage like spot, but you could always make one. 
Um, but there's a shower, you know? No bed. And I did not put a closet for any woohoos, but, you know, it is, uh, it is not exactly a romantic lot. This is definitely a family lot. Um, but over here on this side is, like, the kind of, uh, nerdy wing where you could come and do your arcade, gaming, uh, your programming, whatever you want to do to kind of network in that sense. You can meet other programmers and whatnot. Um, <clears throat> I think I fortunately did not record me struggling to pick out a radio, um, but the struggle was seriously real with trying to figure out which like jukebox I wanted to use um, down here in this basement. It was it was pretty bad. I'm not not even gonna try to hide it. Um, but you will have to apologize for past me. Um, I recorded the like face cam with the tour before mama had had a shower and so I kind of I mean I, I, like I've said some days are just going to be better than others and that's okay like we've got to accept that in our lives and move forward you know inspirational moment for the day um I love those paintings from the base game um I know they're typically locked behind the uh like work cheats you have to use the unlock entitlements the one that is like 20,000 letters long and I always have to do it like five times but anyways I'm gonna pass you over hello guys welcome to the tour portion of the speed build of uh, this like tree um, I think I titled it treetop wonderland um, because there's a lot of stuff to do um, I'm not going to press play. I'm not going to let this lot like be active right now because um, I'm actually like, I placed this lot into my legacy save because I want to be able to go here with my legacy family and I have traveled here with um, none other than Penny Pizzazz who kind of has a stank face on for some reason, uh, but that's besides the point. Um, Anyways, I'm gonna kind of like take it slow because there's a lot to look at here. Um, this is an overall look at the lot and I am so happy with how it turned out. I wanted all of the different um, textures on the different places, like, uh, I'm sorry, the different pods to have different textures and um, they all kind of have different doors and uh, I, I don't know, I, I like it. Um, I do wanna player test a bit. Um, but I might have to do that in my own spare time in a different save. But anywho, so essentially the three are separated into, this is like kind of a, a little hangout spot with a kitchen and there's a TV in here. And then this one is kind of more of an art studio um, or like a reading nook. Um, I actually did not place any instruments on this lot. Very weird. I always place instruments, but I did not. Um, I should probably do that. Um, I know that this fire pit up here on this deck is actually a really bad idea in real life. That would be a terror, especially because in The Sims, these fire pits are a fire death trap. Um, they're, I love using them, but I hate them because they, they cause so many fires. Um, but then this one is really geared towards kids. I thought it could be like a neighborhood club kind of hangout spot for the kids. I put the uh, scouts board out front. Um, so yeah, I, uh, I do have some screenshots of the place, but just to kind of show you guys a bit what we're looking like on the inside is nice and just cluttered. I thought since it's kind of a hangout spot for the kids, I wanted them to have maybe like their trophies, their artwork or whatever they have going on. Um, and just a, a bunch of stuff. There's a bunch of like books piled over here. Oh, foundation being weird. A bunch of books piled over here because I wanted it to just look like they could really come here to, to hang out. Um, and then this one actually has like the accent of red on the building and I, I like that. Um, I don't know, it just kind of spoke to me. And I also am now realizing that I did not place uh, pillars like on the side of the buildings, which I always do, so uh, oops you know? Um, but this one is just a very shabby chic kind of vibe in here. Um, I wanted it to <laughs> look very relaxing. So I just, uh, I put a lot of plants behind the couch there. There is another spot to paint because I thought, you know, maybe 
you wanted to hang out more um, in this area. So I know you could probably make this a residential lot to be quite honest with you. You have like everything you need for this to be a residential lot. Um, but down here is like just a kind of common ground we can hang out. There is another kitchenette here, which I know it looks a little out of place, but um, I thought you could technically like um, if you wanted to, there's room over here for maybe, um, you know, take this out and put uh, an arch in. You could get married on this lot. So I did want it to kind of have this feel about it that it's a little more um, up and coming as far as the park goes. It's not just some park that was plopped here. Um, so each of the trees do have a ladder um, technically right up on them. There's one over there too. So that you should theoretically be able to just go right up into, you know, the lot that way. Um, but there is a main stairwell as well. Stairwell as well. So then if you have already noticed, there's a little stairwell right here where we can go downstairs. And this is, I mean, just so much going on. Um, so I'm sorry about that, but that's how I like to build. I want options. I want things to do. Um, and I apologize, the jukebox almost seems a little off the beaten path. Um, but I really wanted this table right here. Uh, so I don't know, it's just kind of where I was at. I struggled with that jukebox a lot. It was a struggle. Um, but I'm gonna be real with you guys. I wanted to build a tree house, me, myself, and I, because of ladders. And my husband was like, I want you to build a tree house with a bowling alley. And I said, um, yeah, it can go in the basement like underground so that's what we have it's like a little underground bar here so the parents can come and relax as well um if you are noticing there is a little cinema room off over here where you can come and uh you know do as the pictures do or just watch the movie um couple of bathrooms that actually cover all the bases as far as being able to take a shower on a community lot which i know is kind of generous but um, that's how I play. I like to be able to have happy sims. Um, and then there's like a little nerd corner over here so you can come and play the arcade. You can get on these nice AF computers and uh, yeah, like I said, I'm not going to go and I'm not pressing play. I'm not doing it. I, my uh, elder sims in the legacy are, um, if you're not following it, that's fine, but they're elders. And so we're not going to have anything bad happening on the building watch. <laughs> um, but I did also like close off the bar over here with a, you know, a door. Um, and that's actually really simple with just building the extra wall right there. Um, I love it. I think it's so simple, but so awesome. Oh, and if you didn't already catch it, there are a couple of windows that do go into the pond. Um, so it's obviously a pool, um, but I wanted it to look like it was very much made to look natural. Um, so that's what we have going on with all the rocks. And then um, I just, I know that these are kind of random. I don't know. I tried to tie in the statues with this little like romantic spot over here. So if you want this to be a romantic date destination, it can be. Um, but there's also stuff for kids to do. And yeah, that's just how I like to build. That's how I like to play. So Anyways, I hope you guys liked. Um, I may or may not be including screenshots um, at the end of this, but I hope you guys are staying safe out there, staying awesome. Thank you so much for stopping by and I'll catch y'all later. Bye.